Welcome back to Detroit Garage. The last test for the dyno mule. Uh, we're gonna run it with the advanced camshaft timing uh, with 92 tens in it, so that's 110 cc's. And uh, the injector timing is 1.5 inches. And we're gonna just run it one last time, do some quick pulls and uh, see what numbers we get. This time we don't have a fuel modulator, so it'll be smoky. Um, we'll see how smoky, but all of the tests I've run with this have been with the fuel modulator and I forgot to try it without. So fuel modulator disconnected and we'll see how much smoke it does, how much power it makes. So for a, uh, a more accurate for a more accurate comparison, I should have done it with standard timing when I made the peak horsepower, but I totally forgot. So we'll see what it makes uh, compared to the last run we did uh, with the fuel modulator and advanced timing. All right, I'll set you guys down. Let's give them two extra. This one here? Yep. And then your way.
I think that was rolling coal, boys. That was nasty. Well, uh, <laughs> it sure performed, but boy, did it roll some coal. So you'll see on the smoke camera, all that smoke, that's uh, 300 foot pounds uh, at idle and then full pulls from idle. And uh, it pulled hard, yeah, really nice. But still, uh, it still didn't make the power that the uh, standard timing made. So we're just gonna go back to standard and call it good. But it, it was pretty nice, I have to say. Here, I'll run down the numbers. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it ran really nice. Uh, still not making the horsepower it made at standard, but I sure rolled a lot of coal. Um, those really big coal rolls are from uh, 300 foot-pounds at idle, and then throw the throttle, full throttle. And uh, it recovers very quickly, but it rolls coal, wow. That's like a freight train. You couldn't have that on the streets. That would just be ridiculous. <laughs> so we're gonna run a fuel modulator, but I just wanted to see if it actually made any difference on the power, and it really didn't. Um, so this run we made 247 horse at 2300, 620 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, so that's off 35 horse from its peak with standard timing and 80 foot-pounds. So I'm going back to standard timing. Uh, I'm calling it good. Max EGTs were about 925. Yeah. It was running on mostly water. I didn't have any methanol in that jug, just the water. So there's no benefit of that. That might have added some power, but still not gonna make up 35 horse. Um, so we're going back to standard timing and calling it good. But uh, there you have it, guys. That wraps up the uh, dyno meal testing. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I put about 30 hours of testing on it with the different injectors, the turbos, the bypass, the blowers, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, very happy with it. It ran really nice. So from a scrap engine I dragged out of a gentleman's yard to what it is now, uh, I'm very happy with it. So what we'll do next is put it in the Diamond T to get it out of here and, and store it in the truck and then get this uh, dyno stuff out of here. I've got to do more cleanup. <laughs> it's just cleanup all the time. As you could tell, it's a spotless shop. Um, so the dyno mule will go into the diamond T and then I'll start building this adapter for it. Once the adapter's on, then I can make the floorboards and the engine mounts and all that stuff. So lots of uh, fab work with this one. I don't know if it's even gonna work to be honest, but I'm gonna give it a try. We'll be running a uh, 6.4 flywheel, the clutch, pressure plate, and the ZF6. The ZF6 is locked up. Again, it's a $200 special. Um, so I've got to fix the ZF6 as well. It's uh, locked up between gears, I think. Maybe it's come good though. Seems like the shifter's moving now. Let's pull this off. Oh, huh. Oh no. I think the input shaft. Oh no, it is working. It's rotating. Anyway, we're gonna go through the, the box and rebuild it. Put new input shaft, bearings, all that good stuff in it. Thanks for checking in guys, and I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Take care.